Having treatment for, for testicular cancer, whether you're having radiation treatment or chemotherapy, it's not a pleasant thing. Let us be honest. There's going to be days when you feel incredibly ill. There's going to be days when you don't feel like going for your treatment. And I had those days as well. I always say to, to patients, people always want you to be strong 100% of the time. They don't realize what you're going through. You've got to allow yourself just a moment of weakness where you can just have a cry, feel sorry for yourself, but the next day you've got to get back on that horse. It's like a diet where you cheat on the Sunday, you have the pizza, on Monday you feel guilty and you eat the lettuce leaves. That's what you need to do when you're, you're having treatment as well. Allow those little moments just to say, I feel sorry for myself, it's okay. Friends and family need to provide emotional support, but a lot of people just don't know how to phrase it. And I often talk to the family members of patients and when a family member hears of someone that now has cancer, they tend to go to the person and say, oh, I can't believe it, I'm devastated, I'm... It's not about you, it's about the patient. So what you need to do is you need to show your grief in the form of support by going to the patient and saying, obviously I, I'm saddened by what I've heard, I'm here for you. What can I do for you? How can I support you? It mustn't be I, 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 it must be you. That's what a patient wants to hear. Otherwise, not only am I having chemo and I think I'm going to die, but now I'm worrying about you being stressed. If you pick up something, rather go have it checked. And I often say, it's the same as when I tell people about having your cholesterol checked, because I had a heart attack a couple of years ago, is that if you don't feel like doing it for yourself, you keep putting it off, do it for your family. Because remember, if you pass away, you're gone. They suffer for the rest of their lives missing you. So you owe it to your family to make sure that you're as healthy as possible.